how to control the pessimistic thoughts which are not favorable for our spiritual growth pessimistic thoughts are coming from the inconscient so our journey started from the inconscient and till now our subconscious and inconscient has seen all depicts only there is no victory till now avatar shabd or avatar has come here but humanity has not seen any victory for example shri rama came killed ravana is ravana dead or alive then hmm? so many ravanas who are sitting not less than ravanas he had 10x we are more than that individual so ravana is not killed only the body is killed ravana has increased its population all of us are ravana more or less so where is the change change has not come defeat there is only defeat we say that rama, rama win the war against ravana okay physically but in terms of consciousness there is no entry ravana is still living with full of his force shri krishna killed kansa his kansa is available at every day okay he has also increased his population huh? and he is deciding with us with us so there is always a defeat record the lord jesus came was killed by people rama came was thrown him out into the jungle forest shri krishna came we have criticized a lot of blood to him they after they left the their uh, leela then only we are accepting them as a god then they were present at the time we have not accepted them <laughs> at the time we have punished them like anything so all the inconscient and our subconscious is the pessimistic story that here in the upon earth there is no victory at all chirama established ram raj where is the ram raj maavadi raj shri krishna established the reign of law prem raj where is that prem raj terrorist raj is there you see now it is in uh, what is happening yeah so where is the change no change so in our subconscious always it is there that whatever you do whether you visit to temple whether you come to satsang or do many things ultimately there is a defeat there is a defeat of death there is a there is always some suffering this will remain this will remain whoever may come that is where mother said it is so much in our consciousness this pessimistic thoughts that even the all the divine forces are unable to change our feelings that is why see mother has worked nearly about 7 to 8 year in the subconscious to change its feeling and see the suffering that is the greater achievement of mother has done that in the subconscious the defeating the defeatism feeling it changed into the something better beautiful things will happen optimistic feeling as in installed into the subconscious that will take time for us to realize but it has already achieved in the center of the subconscious that is the greater victory mother has attained so for us what we have to do we have there are two things one is that uh, self confidence confidence on ourselves then another is confidence on the divine faith in divine faith in ourselves these two things are necessary to go to attain the victory of us 
the best patient. So what? What are the uh, parts which are reducing our self confidence, faith in ourselves? One is there are some external factors which are actually not true, but we are accepting as true, it as a true. For example, age factor, age. If I will tell to a small child, do this. He said, I cannot do But I am a small child. He will, he will say simply, simply say that I am a small child, I cannot do it. Well, I will be like you. I will do it. Not only he will say, I will just say, you are a small child, you cannot do it. You grow, then you will do it. Mother says, it is falsehood. Whatever you want to do, you can do, irrespective of the health factor. I will give you an example. Dr. Okema, Okema, he was a geologist, but his age was only eight years old. He was eight years. At that time, he used to read the magazines about the geology and gave beautiful articles in typing. He has not written with his own handwriting, so that people will have doubt that uh, this writing is uh, somewhat not a senior person, but a junior person. I mean, so he typed it and uh, posted to the Geological Society. Okay, that those uh, articles were so mature that everybody thought that he is the senior person, senior most person. Then. They have included him into the club. They are the only senior person are there, more than 60, above 60, senior citizen. All senior citizens are there, but unfortunately they don't know that this boy is also included, thinking that he is also a senior person. And at last, their selected article, which is the best article among the senior person, was his. So he was invited to read out his uh, article in the conference hall where every single senior citizen will be there. So he thought, how I will go? He took his father to the yes. conference hall. Everybody thought that father is the scientist. Father said, no, no, he is scientist. <laughs> so they were astonished. First astonished that this guy the next advertisement was he was repeatedly told, he told repeatedly about the subject matter along with questions and answers. So age is not a factor. We always identify ourselves with the age. External factors are not at all responsible. You see, we have so many great spiritual leaders whose age were only eight, nine, Dhruva, Prahalada. Huh? We know everybody, Sankaracharya, all very young people only. But we always identify with our age. I am small, I cannot do it. Just opposite also. I am so much old, I cannot do it. We are citizens, we are senior citizens, we cannot do it. We can only advise you all, we cannot do That is also. Because mother says, I have seen a young man of 70, a old man of 16. Because you have, you, you have the right spirit. Divine force will work for you, irrespective of your age. So pessimism will go down. This is the one factor when you are pessimistic because of our age. Either we are small or either we are senior or junior, whatever it is. Then another factor is gender factor. Gender factor is I am woman, I cannot do. Now the women are speaking very high. But when they are going, they are taking a boy or so, a small boy, uh, with, uh, because they have no confidence. <laughs> they say that we are women. But you don't know, women has better confidence than men. Swami Vivekananda said, I'll read out. Swami Vivekananda said, with 500 men, the conquest of India might take a few years. With as many women, no more than 
a few weeks. Some weekend, he, he never can die. We don't, everything we don't believe. Do you believe? Tomorrow, can you go without making any help of that? Tell me. Yes. <laughs> so that, that is why uh, we are uh, attributing ourselves with the data. That is again a pessimistic view which is coming to us that we cannot do. And another factor is health factor. My health is not okay. I cannot do it. No, you do not. John Kennedy, once he was attending the war, he was severely ill. And uh, in the hospital, he was in the treatment. A 90 year old lady wrote a letter to him saying that never be depressed. You can do now what you did not do in your previous setting. Suppose you wanted to write some poems, you could not write at that time because you were so much busy. Now the divine has given you the opportunity to write, to do all those things which you, which you were unable to do at that time. So there, no factor can stop you to do anything. And there is another person who was a golf player, golf, uh, golfer. Who had only one hand, but he win. Somebody asked that how you win the game with your one hand. But he replied, "You say, uh, you know that he said right attitude with one arm is more powerful than the wrong attitude with two hands. <laughs> Even if you have two hands, if you have wrong, wrong attitude, even if you are pessimistic, I can." I cannot, I cannot participate, then you are done. But if you are one hand but with positive spirit, I will go to the end. Then another is money factor. Many, many people say that mother tongue can be done without money. Money is very important. Mother says that if you do rightly, money will run up. Once in Auroville, Matrimandi project was a so many crores for the big project. People asked mother, how the money will come, mother, to do this work? But mother said, I, I am saying that money is waiting. Where are the sincere workers? Where are the sincere workers? So money is not the problem. Your sincerity is the problem. If you are sincere, money will knock at your door. You will say, I am not very, I am busy, you wait there. We will not run after money. Money will run after us. We will say, you sit there, I will come where the right time is coming. And once what happened, you know, Hamas Edition lost all his property, including his laboratory, where he has made so many researchers. He was at the time, in the market, when he did not, he saw that his laboratory is burning. And everybody expressed their sympathy to him. He said, don't show me sympathy. Lord has given me chance to repeat my experiment and rectify my mistakes. Because there must be some mistake, which I will not go back unless the circumstances is compelling. The Lord has made me, made a such a situation, I have to start again from zero. And fortunately, after that, he got Nobel Prize. So, money is not also a factor. Nothing external things are factor, I am unless and until you yourself is a factor. Nothing is a factor. That is, you, law, you have no optimistic consciousness. Always a pessimistic consciousness. Always you are afraid of something. That is why mother says that people do not take risks. Unless they don't take risks, they cannot advance. Any great work is involved a risk in it. So don't think, say that it, this is a risk I cannot do. You have to jump into the risk with complete faith in the divine. If divine is with me, 
one poor seer or anywhere else can touch me, their blunders are gone into one time. All can be done if the God touches them. All are reading, but we are not practicing in our life. Then another factor, which is very much pessimistic in us, prestige factor. Suppose somebody is inviting to do something, we are concerned about the prestige or not. If prestige is not given, then we are not going to do anything. If that the others be insult or statement, but the, all, all the treatments, if you go into the histories, they are they become great because they have not given any importance to the prestige. I will give you an example of uh, Einstein. At that time, there were no TVs, no radios, nothing. He has discovered law of relativity. He invented law of relativity. He was so famous. So everybody invited him to give a speech on law, uh, law of relativity. Because at the time there was no TV that once it is revealed that everybody will know. Not like that. He had to physically go there. But nobody had seen him. Einstein, nobody had seen him. Once he, he uh, visited to many places along with his driver. So driver was listening the same speech nearly 30 to 40 times. By 100 everything. Even he can speak better than the <laughs> Einstein. So once he told that uh, I want to speak. You see, Einstein had no prestige factor. Immediately he changed his dress. He gave his dress to the driver and took the driver dress himself and he drove the car. Driver was in the backside. Back and when he reached the place, everybody thought the driver is Einstein, took him to the stage and he gave the beautiful speech. Even Einstein could not have because he has memorized everything bit by bit. But unfortunately, there was a questionnaire system also. <laughs> <laughs> then somebody asked one question. He was very clever. He said that your question is very simple. My driver will say. <laughs> so Einstein came. Even there also he has not revealed himself saying that I am Einstein, he is my, my driver. He has not said. Yeah, the driver only spoke. The, he answered the question. And after so many years, people knew that that speech was given by the driver and question was answered by his driver. So this is how we have to work. If we are prestige conscious, then we cannot do any great work. Because always we see to ourselves. We are so egocentric. Always we are concerned about our own prestige. We can do nothing. Then the last one is second that is faith on the divine. It is, mother says, it is, it is the important factor. It should be from the beginning. But at any cost, if you have the faith in yourself, you can travel to the some extent only, not more than more. Ultimately, you must have the faith in the divine. Because if you have a vehicle, you have a tank carrying some liter of petrol or diesel, whatever it is. How far you can go ahead? 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers. Ultimately, you have to go to the petrol pump. There are the unlimited resources there to fill your tank. Similarly, our faith in ourselves is just like a small tank carrying 200 or 300 liters of diesel or petrol. How far you can go? There is an unlimited source. You have to connect yourself with that. Then only there will be a true optimism. Otherwise, at a particular point, you will again face this disease of pessimism. Again, when you will lose all your energy, 
will say, I was thinking that everything is possible, but now I become old, I know that nothing is possible. And you will call all the youngest children, saying that you see, you are thinking, but it is not correct. I was thinking like that, but nothing is possible because I think that nothing could be done. At last, you will become pessimist unless and until you are attuning yourself with the mother. So, in that way, we can attain the victory of our passion.